Now let's talk about how to solve certain right triangles, particularly if we have a two triangle system. So let's say if we have a picture like this, we have two right triangles adjoined to each other. And this angle is 40 and this one is 30 degrees. What is the value of X? And you're given this distance, let's say it's 800. So that's the distance of this blue line that I drew here. So with this information, how can you find the value of x? Let's call this h1 and h2. x is the sum of h1 and h2. So what we need to do is separate it into two smaller triangles. So this is h1, this is 800, and we have an angle of 40. So with this information, what can we do to find the value of h1? Now, using SOHCAHTOA, do we need to use the sine function, cosine, or the tangent function? H1 is opposite to the 40 degree angle. 800 is adjacent to it. Tangent is associated with opposite over adjacent. So therefore, tan of 40 is equal to the opposite side, H1, divided by the adjacent side, 800. So to get h1 by itself, we need to multiply both sides by 800. So h1 is going to be 800 tan 40. And so you should get 671.3 for h1. So I'm just going to write that here. Now let's go ahead and find the value of h2. Now let's draw the second triangle. So this time we're going to use an angle of 30 degrees to calculate H2. So H2 is opposite to 30 and 800 is adjacent to it. So once again we need to use the tangent function. So tan 30 is equal to the opposite side H2 divided by the adjacent side 800. So let's multiply both sides by 800 once again. So H2, it's simply 800 tan 30. So that's going to be 461.9. Now we can find the value of X, which is the sum of H1 and H2. So we got to add these two values. 461.9 plus 671.3 is equal to 1133.2. So that's the value of x, and that's how you can solve it. You just got to separate this problem into two triangles. Let's work on another problem. So let's say x is the distance between those two points. And this angle is 30. And this angle, let's say, it's 39 degrees. And we're given this distance here is 200. How can we use this information to find the value of x? Now, what we need to do is break it up into two triangles. Let's try this triangle first, the smaller triangle. The small triangle has an angle of 30 and a base of 200. And let's call this side H1. Now let's draw the larger triangle. The larger triangle has an angle of 39 and a base of 200. And we'll call this H2. So notice that H1 plus X is equal to the whole thing, which is H2. So we could say that H2 is the sum of X and H1, which means X is the difference between H2 and H1. So once we find H2 and H1, this time we need to subtract their values to get X. So let's calculate H1. So tangent 30 
we know it's equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And so once we multiply both sides by 200, 200 tan 30 will give us H1. Tangent 30 is 0.57735. If we multiply that by 200, you should get 115.5. So that's the value of H1. Now let's go ahead and find H2. So the format is going to be the same. All we need to do is change the angle. So H2 is going to be 200 tan of 39 degrees. So you should get 161.96. So that's H2. So now we can find X. X is 161.96 minus 115.5. And that's about 46.5. So that's how you could find the value of x. So let's work on another problem. So let's say this is 25 degrees, and this is 35 degrees. And this side is 400 units long. And what is the value? of x. So go ahead and try this problem. Now let's call this side h1 and let's call the total h2. So x plus h1 equals h2 just like before. So x in this problem is the difference between h2 and h1. So we gotta find h2 and h1 separately and then subtract them. So let's draw two triangles. Let's start with the small triangle. So this side is 400. We have an angle of 35, and this is h1. So once again, we have to use tangent. 400 is opposite to 35, and h1 is adjacent to it. So we could say that tan 35 is equal to the opposite side, 400, divided by the adjacent side, h1. Now, if we multiply both sides by h1, we can see that h1 tan 35 is equal to 400. So to get h1 by itself, we need to divide both sides by tangent 35. So h1 is going to be equal to 400 divided by tan 35. And so I'm going to write the answer here. h1 is equal to 571. 0.26. Now that we have the value of h1, let's move on to the next triangle. So we're going to draw the large triangle this time. This side is still 400, but we're going to use an angle of 25 this time. And here, this is h2. Now, 400 is once again the adjacent side, and H2, I mean 400 is the opposite side, but H2 is the adjacent side. So tangent of 25 degrees is going to equal the opposite side, 400, divided by H2, the adjacent side. So let's multiply both sides by H2. And then after that, once we have H2 tan 25, let's divide both sides by tangent. 25. So H2 is equal to 400 divided by tangent 25. And so that's 857.80. So that's the value of H2. Now let's subtract these two numbers. So if we take 857 0.80 and subtract it by 571.26. That will give us the value of x which we're looking for. And you should get 286.54. And so that should be the value of x. 
Here's a different problem. I think this one's a little bit harder than the last three examples. So let's say this is x. And the first angle is 43 degrees. And the second angle is 35 degrees. And let's say 80 is the distance between just this little section here. That's 80. So how can we find the value of x given this information? So what do you think we need to do? Now there's no point calling this h1 and calling that h2 because we know the difference between h2 and h1 is 80. But let's do something else. Let's call this y. If you look at the small triangle, that is this one, notice what we can do if we could find the value of y. This is x, this is y, this is 43. If we have an angle and a side, we can use that to find the other side. So if we could find y, we could find x. Now, let's draw the larger triangle and see what we can do with it. That is this one. So looking at the larger triangle, the angle is 35. And that's x as well. And this is 80 plus y. So we have two variables. And when you encounter a situation with two variables, you need to write two equations, a system of equations, to solve for those variables. Now we no longer need this picture, so let's get rid of it. So let's write an equation for this triangle. x is opposite to 43 and 35. y is adjacent to those angles. So for the first triangle, we could say that tangent of 43 is equal to x over y, which means y tangent 43 is equal to x. To get there, you got to multiply both sides by y so that these cancel. Now let's save this equation. We're going to use it later. Now let's write an equation for this one. Tangent of 35 is equal to x divided by the adjacent side 80 plus y. Now let's get rid of this. It's taken up space. Let's multiply this equation by 80 plus y. So what we're going to have is 80 plus y on the left side times tangent 35. On the right side, 80 plus y will cancel. So we're just going to have x. Now x is equal to y tangent 43. It's also equal to this stuff. So since they both equal x, they equal each other. So we could set y tangent 43 equal to 80 plus y times tangent of 35. Now let's get some decimal values. So first, let's find out the value of tangent 43. Tan 43 is 0.9325y. And let's distribute tan 35 to 80 and y. Tan 35, that's about 0.7. So if we multiply 80 by 0.7, we're going to get 56. And then y times tan 35, that's just going to be 0.7y. Now let's subtract both sides by 0.7y. So these will cancel. And uh, 0.9325 minus 0.7, that's equal to 0.2325y. And that's equal to 56. So y is 56 divided by 0.2325. So y is about 240 0.86. Now that we have the value of y, we can use either this equation or this one to find x. Let's use the one on top. So x is going to be y, which is 240.86, multiplied by tangent 43. So 
So x is equal to 224.6. And so that's the answer that we're looking for.